Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 381E-3LS. This is an extension, is what it is. This is just literally an extension for their 380, 380 series electromagnetic door holders. They, this is a 3 inch length, that's because the body is 3 inch long. You're going to have a male portion here that's going to thread into um, the catch plate. The uh, back side of this will thread into the base itself. That I may have that reversed. I happen to have a catch plate here. Yeah, the catch plate is the female portion. Okay, so the extension will thread into, the male portion will thread into the catch plate. Okay. Um, there are different lengths of extensions that are available. Uh, one inch, inch and a half, two inch, three inch, and I think four inch will confirm that. All of their extensions will always include a couple of stamped metal box wrenches, and that will allow you to tighten the extension onto the base. Okay, allow you to get that tightened down so that it won't move on you. This is in the LS finish, and LS by Hager stands for Lumachine. It's like a sprayed aluminum color. Uh, they can also do a dark bronze, and they can also do a brass type color, gold type color. Let's switch to the screen view now, and let's take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at. 3-inch extension, Lumachine, it's a holder. Now let's take a look at the template. This template is, um, it just gives you a reference in terms of what the extension might look like in order to achieve a particular goal. The standard catch plate dimension is about two and a quarter inch from the edge of the catch plate to the base. About two and a quarter is what this is gonna be. So depending on you know, what model you're using, semi-recessed like this, or fully uh, recessed, surface mounted, you know, that math is going to, you know, require that you potentially calculate an extension. Now, there is also the product catalog is here. Let's take a closer look at that. And this will be an overview of all uh, of their systems, their, their 380 uh, material. Uh, you're going to find in the installation instructions for the electromagnetic holders themselves this table here that will show you voltage, how many milliamps they pull um, in AC or DC, and how, what sort of holding force they achieve as well. They do clearly have some high holding force models here. Uh, you'll look at a matrix by which you can build the part number together. The accessories are here. It's going to be a 381 something. This would be an extension, so 381E. And then the length. This happens to be a 3 for 3 inch. And then, of course, your finish, LS, for what they call powder chrome. Then you can scroll through and look at all of the different uh, models that are here. Uh, now, this is the part that I was looking for. What is the projection from the face of the wall? This is what's going to allow you to uh, determine if any extensions are needed. As I had said earlier, this dimension is about two and a quarter from here to here, the face of the catch. So if you're doing a 380, you know, you know, just a 380 F, a flush mount, you've got basically one inch here. So if you've got five inch, yeah, you're going to be at a two inch extension like it was mentioned earlier. One inch here, two inch extension, plus about two and a quarter for the catch plate. Sure, it's going to be right there. Those extensions are listed. They are available in the sizes. Uh, they have, uh, well, half inch, one inch, inch and a half, two, three, and four inch. They also have an adjustable uh, version here, which is inch and a half uh, that will feature an elbow. You might need to kick that dimension around a little bit, like they show here. Now they show a four inch adjustable extension. I don't know if they, if it's actually four inch or inch and a half as as they list here. 
So let's look at all the different 381Es. Half inch, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. So no adjustable extensions. Let's look at the 381A, what they show for that. Because the product catalog shows it as inch and a half. The installation instructions show it as a four inch. Yeah, apparently inch and a half. No, I stand corrected. They have multiple lengths, two inch. Four inch, inch and a half. Oh, that's good. That's neat. So there you go. They don't list all of those sizes. Very handy to have that data. Other accessories are here as well. The catch plate assembly, very common to uh, for people to buy these. The doors get removed. The hardware gets taken off for the doors to be painted. All of a sudden, the catch plates are swept up and into the garbage they go. So here are all the accessories on that page. Now finally there's a link below this video here to the manufacturers page. When we click on that we can pull up not only all of the Hager products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here but also a link to the manufacturers website as well as a link to the full product catalog here. Encyclopedic documents are here such as the Hager keying service manual and the 2010 ADA standards for accessible design. Why would we have that on the Hager page? Well, they sell weather stripping and namely thresholds, and that's all very much governed by, um, by the federal law that we all commonly refer to as ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act, passed in early, 1990, early 91 maybe, and then it was phased in throughout the early first half of the 90s. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, Hager is a name synonymous with uh, everything builders hardware related. Uh, doors and frames would be the only exception that they don't sell for the entire opening. Whether it be hinges or door closers, lock sets, exit devices, trim and auxiliary hardware, weather stripping, electrified hardware, Roton, continuous geared aluminum hinges, residential hardware, lots of residential hinges, bypass, sliding, pocket, by folding doors. They get into hardware for all that material. Their catalog that's on that page is over 600 pages. And I can tell you that Hager has an extremely um, loyal client base. Uh, and uh, that's always been a bit of a mystery to me in the sense of I, I'm not questioning why someone would be loyal to Hager. I fully understand that. Um, but there are people who want Hager. That's what they want. And um, it's not that you go out of your way to, here's a scenario, client calls, I need this Hager lock. No problem, Hager doesn't have it in stock, we don't stock it, it's three weeks. Oh, really? Well, I've got this alternate over here, it's the same type of lock, same price range. You know what, I'll wait for the Hager product. I hear that routinely. Any questions on the 381 in a E, in a 3 inch and an LS, or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.